our first problem, a student releases a seesaw as shown. The seesaw will always tip towards the side with the greater blank. So we know that we're asking about what direction the seesaw will tip, and that tip means rotate. A force's ability to cause rotation is torque, which means it doesn't just matter how much it weight is on each side, but it matters how much weight is distributed how far from the fulcrum. So the seesaw will always tip towards the side with the greater torque. All right, in our next problem, two cranes are lifting loads as shown. All factors are identical except that crane A has a larger counterweight. So when we're doing these complete problems, we are going to call this the rotation point, and we know that the crane tips over if the torque on the load side is greater than the torque on the chassis and counterweight side. Call it having a greater counterweight, so a greater force right here, makes this safer. So the crane that's more likely to tip over is the crane with the smaller counterweight, or case B. Our next problem, we have two cranes again, and they're lifting loads as shown. All factors are identical, except that the boom of crane A has been raised, changing the position of the load. So this is the boom right here. So we can see that in crane A, the boom is at a steeper angle than for crane B. So again, let's circle our rotation point. So that's the point that would stay on the ground even if the crane started to tip over. If I draw my force underneath the center of the load in each case, and remember that torque equals the force times the torque arm. So the torque arm would be measured perpendicularly, uh, would perpendicular to the force. So from the center to the force. So let me highlight my torque arm in each case. So in this case, I can tell that case B, we have a greater torque arm. So we're going to have more torque from the load in case B, and that would make case B, the crane in case B, more likely to tip over. Lastly, let's take a look at a picture where some students are trying to tip over a statue. All factors are identical except the length of the rope. So again, let's circle the rotation point. So if that statue started to tip over, that's the point that would remain on the ground. So there's the torque that's caused by the student's weight, or the statue's weight that's trying to keep this statue from tipping over. And that is acting against the tension from the students that are trying to tip the statue. So let's draw the torque arm in both cases. So here's my torque arm. Remember that torque arm is always perpendicular to the force. So since this force is acting left and right, the torque arm would be straight up. And we'll notice that the length of the rope actually doesn't affect the torque arm. So the force is the same, the torque arm's the same. So the students are causing the same amount of torque in both cases. So uh, the both cases are equal.